Josh is a Siberian Husky German Shepherd mix, and he comes to us today with some major mouthing issues. Um, he pulls really hard on the leash, he runs from his owner, he eats all the children's toys, does not know how to differentiate between which one's his and which one is the three-year-old's. Um, he jumps, he digs, he always finds a way out. Um, he's all around just kind of a bad boy, you know, he's got that kind of demeanor. Um, let's find out what Cash might know. Cash! Cash! Come! Oh. Come! Cash! 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 No jumping on Miss Megan. Or eating Miss Megan's leash. Okay, yes. No, we're not gonna play Tug of War with the leash. No, alright. Apparently we're gonna play Tug of War with the leash. Well, Cash just doesn't have very many manners as is. Cash, sit. Sit. Good, sit. Or, okay. Well, Cash has absolutely no manners, and I can't wait to show you the ones that he's gonna develop in just two weeks. This is Cash.
hired um, K9 Aussie's training for uh, our dog Cash because he had a lot of behaviors that we were unfamiliar with and uh, didn't know how to work with the dog. So we sent him off to Megan, who, don't let me get emotional, it, it's a life changing event for us to have, be able to have a dog that we love, be in the home, um, without having, a, you know, to yell at the dog because he knows commands now. She took the time and the effort and the patience, oh my God, the patience, if I haven't mentioned my dog is a Husky German Shepherd mix. <laughs> and um, her family took him in and loved him like their own and it's, um, he's a family member. I think that's why I'm so emotional. So it's an amazing thing to get a dog back home who can sit underneath you and not be up in your face and mouthing you. And this has been, you, pros and cons, there's no cons when you get a dog back the way Cash came back to us. And the updates were hilarious. I've thought many times that was not my dog in the video. It's like she had a doppelganger of my dog. And, um, cause it's just, my dog used to bolt out the door. I'm the girl screaming for my dog out the car door. And to see a video of Cash just sitting at the door and then the doorbell ringing and Cash not flipping out. This has just been, um, more than I expected, I think, and you couldn't ask for a better trainer to have the compassion and understand the concerns and address all of them. So I can't thank you enough, Megan. Would you recommend this to somebody else? Never, because then, then I'll never be able to send him back to Wait, you. Wait, no, <laughs> just kidding. I would recommend in a heartbeat, and, and I'd specifically be recommending Megan because I don't know how other trainers are, but. For us, the most difficult dog that we've ever owned is coming back to us with a, a whole new leash on life. No, no pun intended. No, just... but, <laughs> but this has been, for us, um, an amazing experience. If anybody asks about training, I would recommend you guys in a heartbeat, even if that means we don't get, you know, Megan for refreshers. But uh, it would be, it would be. She's offered to, you know, whip him into shape again if ever needed, but I don't think he's going to need it. He's been so good. He's being so good. <laughs> so thank you. I mean, I, I can't believe I just cried. But yeah, it's, it's emotional to get your dog back this way. So thank you. Mm -hmm.